When talking about personal style and building your wardrobe to match it, I always recommend building with elevated basics so that you have a really strong foundation at first with quality pieces and ones that won't wear out and then building upward with statement items and investing in luxury items with all of the money that you'd save uh, early on from day one because you've made your wardrobe suit you properly from the very beginning. So as I am refining my own personal style and I'm about five years in the making with that um, and I've also been helping other people find theirs, I wanted to highlight some brands that I've really been newly enjoying and finding inspiration from. And so I wanted to share those with you today because I just find that when I do that, you guys find inspiration from that as well. I also love finding smaller brands and luxury designers um, just because I feel like I can appreciate my own wardrobe more because really I'm taking part in the designer's art form. So I'm gonna leave links down in the description to all the pieces that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And if you wanna go ahead and see some of them, you can click the links down in the description box. And also to help fund these purchases that I've been making, which are luxury, I'm partnering with Saks Fifth Avenue today. They sent me some spending money so that I could choose whatever I wanted to buy. And then I did definitely spend a little bit more of my own money too. <laughs> so the majority of the pieces that I'm sharing with today are part of the sale that's going on right now too. So if you haven't shopped from Saks before, now's a really good time to try them because they have a Black Friday deal going on through the weekend and then on Cyber Monday, they've got deals as well. So I'm gonna leave more info down in the description box for that, but it can really help if you're on the hunt for holiday outfits or parties, um, or a lot of you guys have been saying that you you have a wedding coming up and you're looking for um, what to get for that, um, vacations, or even just adding to your own elevated basics. So Saks Fifth Avenue is one of the top luxury retailers in the US. And I also find that it's been incredibly helpful to navigate luxury brands, which honestly can seem really daunting without some sort of a guide. And so they make it easy to just feel a part of it through their Saks edit. And as well, they've got the ability to favorite items on their site. And then they've got some personal stylists too. Okay, first is this age puff sleeve midi dress. I love this, it's so incredibly dramatic, um, but what I like about it is this black version has a little bit more on the drama side instead of something on the cottage core side. So the brand Age is an Australian fashion brand and it's really dedicated to a lot of beautiful things that I align with. I love that it's got this effortlessly cool uh, factor to their brand and they also love femininity, but they like to balance that with something that's a a little bit more edgy or tough. And I feel like this was much needed to have this black version instead of some of the uh, white versions that are available just because instead of the typical cottagecore dress, this one has um, more of not only the drama, but um, just the elegance that comes with a little black dress. And this is by no means little. It's got all of these beautiful details with this tiered skirt portion. And then of course the signature sleeves that age is known for. I'm so used to calling them age and it's like a really hard habit for me to break. For starters with this dress though, not only is it something that is beautifully feminine, but the casual part of this is that it has these pockets as well. And anytime I can find something like a dress with pockets, it just automatically lets it sort of drape and swoosh a little bit more um, in a relaxed way. It makes more sense for my lifestyle. I could even hide my phone or my keys in it. And then it's just not as big of a deal as an elegant dress like this. It's something that I can actually work into my everyday style. I also like that the bodice is smocked, which gives it a little bit more stretch. And that allows for it to look tighter on my torso and having the rest of it just, you know, have that fun of the, of the, all of the volume and um, extra layers of fabric. So it's really fun to experiment with. And for this look, I decided to try a baseball cap with it. And that just really balanced it a little bit more into the casual realm. 
And then also it's fun to be able to experiment with shoes. And so for this dress, I decided to take a Western taste with it. And so that really makes it balance out. It takes it away from the, the femininity of it and then it like pushes it into a different sort of femininity with the Western style and a little bit of that toughness that the brand loves. And then just wearing it with a pearl brings that sweetness back and it complements all of the puffs well, as well as the color of the hat. Also, if you really are looking for a dress to wear to an event, whether that's a wedding, um, just depending on the, the color scheme, of course, of the wedding, the dress code, then this might be a perfect option for that. Or um, I would totally wear this if I was hosting some sort of holiday event, totally wear this to a Christmas party. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of ways I could see myself wearing this dress beyond just like a one-off occasion. The next brand is Alice and Olivia, and this cardigan I'm wearing is a puff-sleeved cardigan that has so many beautiful details I want to get into today. I truly fell in love with this cardigan when I saw it on the Saks website. Um, in general, white and black have always been what I consider my color scheme. Everything from my wedding color scheme to my first apartment was all black and white. It's just something that I am drawn to in general. And a really good example of a cable knit sweater that is not bulky is this cardigan. It just has so many beautiful details on it where it is cable knit and it's got these beautiful little dots all over it. And then of course these ribbons in the front, um, they really balance the sweet and sexy and that's something that you can definitely tell from this brand um, that they do a lot of. It even has a little extra fabric sewn into the shoulders just so that you can have that extra puff here. It's just so unique, um, something that I haven't experienced before. So you can wear a cami underneath this if you would like to but if you're thinking of a date night sweater this could be worn alone because it's not itchy at all somehow I don't know what they did but it is just so incredibly soft um, it's also very romantic you know to have a little bit of skin show and so what I'm working with here is just a high-waisted pant so that it's not too much but I still feel totally cool and comfortable in it and in my own skin so here I'm choosing to wear it with with black accessories just to let the ribbons blend in a bit and then that's also letting that knitted pattern really shine and take the focal point. So I can totally see where Alice and Olivia shares my love for femininity and then also for vintage designs and then they take something that's perfectly vintage and then they twist it to be more sexy and still sophisticated. This next piece is also from Age so I'm going to leave it a little bit brief about the brand um, but just I do think that it does reflect a lot of the factors of what this brand is trying to achieve. I know that they love to use these raw textures and I know that they love to have something that is you know feminine but also effortlessly cool and I have tried this with different outfits and I can just really tell that this is something I could dress down as easily as something I could dress up so in the case of what I'm wearing today with it you know just having these black silk pants does make it a little bit more formal but still so relaxed and effortless to wear so when I'm thinking about what I could wear that is so chic but also so comfortable then this is a really good option Option. Um, again, this is another piece that I can wear without having to wear something underneath it. It's not making my skin itchy at all. And I just love, again, it's got these signature puff sleeves. I like that the collar is a little bit bigger. So there's lots of drama happening here, and yet it still is something that is just as comfortable as a sweatshirt. Also to counterbalance the formality of having those silk pants, I do like to be able to wear it with a hat that is more casual. And that baseball cap again here is so perfect for this look because it matches this ivory tone of the shirt very well. And then having a baseball cap not only can hide a bad hair day, but it is so wonderful for just making it casual. The next brand is Rebecca Taylor. So Rebecca Taylor as a brand is known for making pieces that have more modest necklines more demure necklines and then having more subtle details so if you look at this sweater it's got all of these small loose weaves on it and a crochet detail
detail along this bib area right here and on the sleeves. So this is something that, again, very soft. I've been so surprised at how soft all of these pieces are. I mean, for something that's a sweater, we're talking sweater weather right now, and I'm usually itchy this time of year from anything that is scratching my skin because I kind of have sensitive skin, and you guys probably do too. So I can assure you that all of these pieces just feel so lightweight and soft, um, but yet, yet it has a really nice drape to it as well. So this does have a puff sleeve again, um, as per usual. And then I do like the V-neck here. So I have that open, but I don't have to because it is something that is sheer. I could just tie it up and that would look great too. And then I chose to wear it with a nude cami underneath and that just gives it a little bit of structure. It still is subtly sexy, but it isn't something that is um, like just kind of color blocking this. I could have worn a bandeau bra underneath or a triangle bra if it was a black one that would look nice um, or a black cami. There's so many options, but this is what I chose to go with and I really like the look of it. And then also for bottoms, I went with these kind of relaxed fitting, more masculine trousers and I'm wearing it with this big uh, thick black belt, but it is something that is minimal too. So I'm working with having small details with this outfit and yet also having this balance of having uh, more intricacy and uh, more of a refined taste all together with these pieces. Since I have covered this baseball cap in three or four outfits so far, I might as well cover it now. <laughs> this is by Nanushka and that is a brand that is new to me. It's something that I've had my eye on. One thing that I liked about about it is that it does say Nanushka on here, it's embroidered on the cap, but it is something subtle. So if you are like me where you don't mind a logo now and then, but you don't want it to be like in your face, then this is really tasteful. I also like it because I do wear baseball caps with nice outfits. And so having one that is just so perfectly considered as far as the color, it's almost like this buttermilk sort of ivory. It's not like, it's not like a blush ivory or anything. It's got a true yellow note to it, which is good for my skin tone personally. But also the brand itself is really interesting. Nanushka is a very sustainable brand. That's definitely where they have their heart centered. And so for this hat in particular, it is organic cotton, which is something that I try to reach for whenever possible. It's not something that I can do 100%, but whenever I can find it, I feel really good about it. It feels so much softer and and it also is really great for the farmer as well. And next is Sandro. Sandro is a Parisian brand that is known for luxury. It also is known for having a more modern and sophisticated style. So it has really clean lines and the aesthetic is supposed to look sophisticated. So it looks like it's something that you would wear um, to some sort of academy. And this lace collar definitely makes me feel that way. It definitely has that academia vibe to it. So I went ahead and added this pendant necklace to it. And I would say that I really like the fit of it. It is something that contours my body. And then also I have to say, I've worn other lace collars in the past and they never lay quite as flat as this one does. It's not going to kind of warp or get you know out of place or anything. It's just gonna stay where I want it to stay. The buttons along this also, I have to say, are beautiful because they are barely there in their design and yet they're so secure. They're not gonna go anywhere. I don't feel like any of them are going to pop off. Um, I feel like the button holes are really secure. They seem to have a tighter weave here, so that is just keeping them in place, which works because I'm wearing this as a shirt today, which I've been doing a lot lately with my sweaters and cardigans that um, would, I would normally wear as a layering piece. So with this said, I would say also that the fabric feels comfortable. Um, it's more of a ribbed pattern on here as well as far as the um, knit. And also because I'm embracing the academia nature of this top, um, I'm not wanting to do that completely head to toe. I am balancing it out a bit here with the boots, but I also like to not have a color stand alone in my outfits. And so I am reintroducing that color um, with my hat and with my bag and with my pearl. I've had this Ralph Lauren cropped blouse for a few months now, but I had to share it here today. 
I have loved having a cropped blouse like this because I normally would just have one that I tuck in, but here it stays wide through the torso and then it's really comfortable and I can move around in it and it doesn't constrict me at all. And I really refined my taste in white blouses. I do collect them to some degree and this one is my favorite out of any of them. I have even successfully washed it and steamed it back into perfection a few times now. I personally like to pair it with just a regular pair of jeans and then boots and that just makes it look a little bit more relaxed and casual you know I could wear it with a skirt and that would be a completely different look but here it just looks so feminine I love the little bow at the bottom and I'll be sure to link it because right now I think it's available in every size that it comes in and those were my picks from some of my new favorite brands that I've been trying and thanks so much to Saks Fifth Avenue again for working with me today such a dream come true so you can check out their site and also the deals going on right now in the description box below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!